channel. Today it is time for another Mask Monday and this week I'm going to be doing the Dr. Jart Shake and Shot. This container would be bigger than it is uh, so I was a little surprised when it came. It is, here's a water bottle just to kind of give you a comparison of size. For some reason I just thought it was bigger. So it's a cute container and it has this little kind of weird face on the top of the container. <clears throat> this is a rubber soothing mask. And let's see, it says keep away from children and do not drink this product. It may look like a something to drink, but it's not. It says shake it up, give a skin a shot, instant soothing boost. So let's see if there's anything else. It gives you the directions, intense soothing boost. And okay, on the, a lot of the masks that I've done so far on the directions, it says to start with a clean face. This one does not say that on the directions, but I did go ahead and wash my face so that I'm always starting with a clean palette. Okay, so directions. You open and remove the spatula from the lid. So if you open this, this is actually a spatula. And then we wanna combine step one the super booster and step two, the liquid in the cup, cover the lid, cover the hole with your finger and shake well until fully mixed. And I just thought that this was kind of cool on the packaging. It gives you that open window so you can see, hopefully that's coming across, um, you can see the liquid on it. I just thought that was kind of cool. Using the spa spatula, apply an even layer over entire face. With, over the entire face within two to three minutes. So after you shake it, you wanna do it pretty quickly. Leave on for 15 to 20 minutes. Starting with the edge, gently peel off the mask. Remove any excess with damp cloth or pad. Follow with your skincare routine. Make a cocktail, give it a shot, it says on the back. So here's the back, it gives you the directions. And this portion of it says the benefits is improves the look of skin through hydration and enhances the visible appearance of skin radiance before your daily skincare routine. And this one says it calms and relieves sensitive skin. Okay, so let's open this. I had to tear there, but it didn't really open it. So it just as a, uh, there we go, geez. Okay. So I thought that it would pour easier. It's kind of, I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be or not. It seems like you kind of need the spatula to get it out. It's pretty thick. Hmm. So I'm not sure. I mean, it just says combine both steps, so but it didn't say anything about needing to use the spatula to get it out. So this is a little messier than I thought it would be. So unless it's like superb, I don't know if it's really worth doing all this, but maybe it'll be wonderful and this will be all worth it. Just seems kind of strange. Let's. I mean, I feel like I got most of it out. Some on my hand. Okay, well, hopefully this is better. So, well, this one opens easier. No, it doesn't. It's like weird. Oh, whoa, whoa. That comes out really fast. And I got that all over, so I wasted some of the product. Okay, so then we're gonna put this back on and shake, 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 shake. It's definitely getting thicker. Yeah, now you can't really hear too much of the liquid anymore. Let's see what that looks like. So this is what it looks like. It doesn't really look like that much of a much of product. 
Okay, so use the spatula to evenly coat your face. I don't know if this is really thick enough. It smells good. And it's a little bit of a strange consistency. I would say this is a messy mask. I guess really even though that didn't look like a, that lot that much product, I guess just the container made it look like it wasn't that much because it seems like this is plenty. I feel like this looks like I'm putting on shaving cream or something. <laughs> like with a plastic razor in the movies. Every time I use a hand mirror I feel like I block the camera so I'm trying to use my monitor or the the phone as the mirror so that way I don't block it but it's still I might have to get the hand mirror back out. <laughs> okay I saw youtubers do this but I didn't uh, watch enough of it when I saw them doing it for to see what their reviews were or how they did it because I wanted to just have an I didn't want to be swayed or you know have a preconceived thought process going into this one so I am interested now to go back and watch other people and see what they thought of it because I feel like it's messy and a little cooling, but not really. I've definitely had more cooling or cooling mask. I feel like when you try to smooth it out, it just, I don't know, it doesn't really smooth out very well. Okay, well that made a mess. I'm now going to wait 15 to 20 minutes and I will be back to peel this off. Okay, so I'm back and it does seem like it dried down a little bit. It's kind of getting a little uh, itchy right here and on the side of my nose. But I don't really feel like it dried down as much as I thought it would in order to peel off. As starting with the edges, gently peel off the mask. Remove any excess with damp cloth or pad. Okay, so let's see here if it peels off. Well. Starting with the edges here. Okay, so <laughs> it is kind of rubbery, so I get why they say rubber mask. So it seems like where I put it on thicker, it's coming off easier. Okay, so it does peel off. So the removal is easier than I thought it would be. I thought the way that it applied, <laughs> I didn't, honestly, I didn't expect that it would come off easy. Say that the, the removal of it isn't bad because yeah, it does come off fairly easy. So that's good. Don't get it too close to your hair because it does seem like that makes it harder to peel off. So with the forehead, as you can see, I just started down here. Just be careful to, if you're using this, to not get it in your hair up here. Okay, so I've cleansed my face. It said follow with your normal routine. So right now I'm using Youth to the People. Uh, you to the people cleanser and moisturizer and just to let you know this will be my review next month for made in america so if you want to know what my thoughts are on new to the people hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that upcoming video okay so back to this dr jart shake and shot mask would i purchase again no 
do I think that it really does anything? No. I mean, I'm a little bit soother, smoother, but I've used other masks that I like better. I think that this probably is just a gimmick, you know, with the whole shake and shot thing in the face. I find that it was messy to apply. It didn't really get an even layer. It peeled off like it said it was going to, but I think that's really the only thing that it stuck to. I wouldn't recommend getting it. Them are $12 on Sephora, so I would save your money. It's really not, I wouldn't recommend it. I don't think that it's worth it. I've never used any of the other Dr. Jart products, so if you have and you like Dr. Jart um, other products, let me know which ones, because I wouldn't mind trying other products from them, but yeah, this mask, I... I don't, I'm not going to repurchase it and I wouldn't recommend it. If it was helpful to you, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up down below, hit the notification bell and subscribe. And also I have a link to my Instagram below if you could go over there and follow me because I will be doing giveaways when I reach a thousand Instagram followers and a hundred subscribers on YouTube. So go ahead and subscribe here, follow me over there and thanks for watching. Bye.